our new hollow log den here that you see in the picture just to the right of the raccoon there finally got a new family in and these are the first guys who have moved into this uh, hollow log here in just a second I'll show you kind of the inside view of it that was mama carrying her, her little raccoon pups in and here she comes in into the inside and it's about well you can kind of see if you know how big a raccoon is but the hollow log at, at this fat end of it, this big end it may be I don't know 15 inches uh, you know, across, maybe 16, maybe 18, I don't know. And then it narrows down where, where Mama was just there and headed. Down towards the far end, it's maybe eight or nine or 10 inches in diameter uh, inside there. And it's pretty tight squeeze for them. Uh, so here Mama has, has brought the uh, five pups over and she's kind of coaxed them to come in. Here's the other doorway to it. Uh, so she had originally taking the pups in the left side and now she's coming out the right side there and and she walks off uh, there to you know go out foraging for uh, food or or whatever and leaves the pups behind here this is a scene uh, just to kind of give you the nighttime view and and it shows mama going out and retrieving an escapee uh, one of the little babies got out during the night uh, here is early. It was kind of just after sundown, really, uh, but escaped, and and she had to go find it, and and she tries to take it back to that right side doorway, but the pup is being <laughs> uncooperative, and uh, so she takes it back to the other end where she knows she can get it in there, uh, even if she has to kind of stuff it in. Basically, I have to say they're not very gentle when they when they get to the point of, of stuffing the pups in through a little hole. Well, again, here's the, uh, this is a daytime view. Occasionally we were able to shoot color uh, video inside there in the day, but most of the time we couldn't. It was just right on the margin of what we could do. Um, you know, so a lot of the times, you know, the mother raccoon would just flop out on her back, go to sleep, let the babies nurse and and play and sleep and do whatever they want to. A lot of the times it was to crawl all over her and mess with her, uh, as you'll see some later in the video here. Uh, but this one's nursing and he kind of looks like he, he might have a, uh, a career in jackhammering uh, in his future there. He kind of <laughs> gets going on it and, and that's not speeded up or anything. That's, that's really what they look like when they're, when they're doing it. And, Everybody's kind of nursed out here and going to sleep and, and just chilling uh, here for a while. And Mama finally gets some good rest here. Again, she's all doubled up in a ball uh, is, is really the position that she's sitting because that's her feet uh, out here in front. And one of the little babies just not sleepy and would like some attention or like a playmate or, you know, just something to do. Seems like it's bored and... Uh, Here's Mama giving them a, a bath, uh, which a lot of time between uh, the mother raccoons and the baby raccoons gets spent on bath time, uh, which is Mama just licking and licking and licking, and she kind of, you'll see, manhandles them uh, a bit into, you know, getting to wherever she thinks they need, you know, to be licked and bathed and, and whatever. And, they will at times sort of start playing with her head here and I think this one's going to get going on her and, and you know, chewing on her ears and chewing on her face and handling her and pulling her eyes open and pulling her mouth open and all this stuff that they totally abuse their mother. It's terrible. <laughs> uh, you would think that all the raccoons would have their eyes scratched out uh, with the way they, they absolutely get at each other's faces and there's zero concept of face space uh, here of, you know, give me my face space. It's like, that's not going to happen. And here's one trying to get to mama to play with it or crawl around on her face. And she's pushing him and, and chewing on him and nibbling him. And, you know, they do seem to really enjoy the nibbling uh, that the mothers do. And it's partly, I think, to get burrs out and maybe going after bugs or who knows what. Uh, uh, but there's a little... Uh, cute guy checking out the camera, kind of. Here's one who's getting a bath and, and again, you know, reciprocates uh, by 
chewing on Mama's face uh, while, while Mama's chewing on its belly. You know, I have to say that one thing that's maybe been most notable of all with the interaction between the mother raccoons and the babies through several litters that we've watched is that everybody is always happy. Everybody's always in a good mood. Everybody always gets along. There's never a harsh word between anybody. And, you know, and the mothers are just totally tolerant of, of the babies and their misbehavior and their, you know, messing with her and everything. And the babies are totally tolerant of mother when she needs to, you know, drag them from here to there, you know, across a field or give them a bath when they just had one last week and they definitely don't need another one. And, and you know, and, and they just go along uh, with everything. And at times, you know, they, they bed down here and, you know, and kind of settle in. And at other times, things truly de degenerate into utter chaos. Uh, here, this, this little one, that's mama's, uh, mama's laying on her back right there with her nose sticking up. And this is another behavior that we have seen as kind of universal is that the baby raccoons like to chew on mama's face and nose and lick in her mouth and pry her mouth open and everything. And it's really funny uh, to watch. Uh, all of them do it. It's, a, it's sort of an inborn thing that they do is, is lick in mama's mouth here. And, and here mama's had enough and she's going to give this guy a shove and see if she can get some sleep here. Um, this guy's getting sleepy and, and uh, this is a lot of what we see on the camera is, is you know, just a bed full of, of, of pups here. They like to sleep on each other. That's two little pups there and one just <laughs> giving the other one a pat on the head. Uh, you know, comforting. I'm not sure who's being comforted. Maybe both of them are by each other there. And finally here, you know, a couple of pups uh, sort of sleepily competing for the best spot in the house here. That's mama who's, who's all curled up and one pushes the other one out of the way and gets all settled in and, and, and it's just thinking, man, this is about as good as it gets. Sweet dreams, little one. <laughs>